I'm gonna ask you a simple question. Does a window have a shadow? If light hits a window, does it cast a shadow? Those of you who have answered no, congratulations, you are the ones who are correct. Windows themselves do not cast shadows. What does a window do then? Think of the glass itself. If you have a window in your room right now, I hope you do. If you have a window in your room right now, uh, check it out, right? If it's nighttime, I'm sorry, I can't help you, but check it out for a second. Look at how the light just passes through. Nothing happens. That's because it doesn't cast a shadow. It's a pane that is meant to have light just come through it perfectly. But what happens? If you aim a flashlight at a window, have you ever decided, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flashlight and I'm going to aim it at this window. What happens? It reflects back at you. It is a reflective surface. It is not one that will cause a shadow, right? Not only will it reflect, but you will be able to see the light pass through because it is reflecting back at you and allowing light to pass through. If a window does not cause a shadow, it only reflects and allows light to pass through it. Why, in that case, does a glass of water allow uh, a shadow to occur? It's not a flat surface. The water also refracts light. So it is both the light refraction and the fact that a glass is a cylinder. It is not a flat pane. Windows are specifically designed to make sure that there is no shadow that passes through. Glass, if you look at a glass of water, if you have a glass with you, a glass of water somewhere, right, you notice that cylindrical shape is kind of casting in on itself, where the edges of the glass get a little bit too thick for the light to pass through, that's where the edges of the shadow will begin. Here's a beautiful thing about art, is that art is science, unfortunately. So if you know enough about science, you know enough about art. Colored glass, the shadow is just gonna be colored. If you've ever worn sunglasses, right? There's a bit of color on the lens that makes the light not pass through as well. If you've ever worn colored lenses before, I own a pair of like red sunglasses. Your eyes are capturing light. It's light bouncing off of stuff and like hitting your eyes. The light is being disrupted by that little piece of like colored glass in front of you. So everything is perceived as that color. So the same thing is happening. Light is going through that colored glass and the shadow that is creating, that it is creating is perceived as a different color. If you'd like to support the channel in the creation of free arts education, become a member on Patreon for working files, behind the scenes posts, and discounts on our class offerings. So if we have a glass, right? When we have our light source here, think of it as if this light is hitting the glass like this. Right here is where our edge gets thickest, where the glass is the most quote unquote stacked up on each other, if that's our light source. So what we want is that these edges will show the most when it comes to the shadow itself. We'll have a little bit of that on the edges and it'll get clearer as we get closer to the center because we have a far flatter plane that the light has the ability to go through. If we kind of shade so it is the outside of this that is casting, causing the most shadow and it is the inside that gets the least, You've approximately done it right, <laughs> just about. You can also have a little bit because the edge of a glass is usually a little bit harsher. You can also maybe make it a little bit darker. And there's a little bit more intensity down here. Think of just how much glass is being stacked up on itself. How many more layers of glass does the light have to get through? And if it's more and or less, and then there's more and or less that you have to get through. So if we have the glass here, light source here, so there's a darker shadow because of the more layers of glass. So do clouds look like they're lit up because the light is bouncing off of water vapor? No, it's because it's edge lighting. Edge lighting just happens to everything. You could also say that though. Um, I guess you could say that it's because there's like little particles that are like reflecting the sun. But if you're talking about when it looks like it's be like lit up from behind, it, that happens to every object. It's just because the light is reflecting off of them from behind in a more intense way. Shading through transparencies. So this, I, I kind of just talked about like windows and glasses and stuff like that. All you really need to worry about now is just the shape of the transparent thing itself, right? References are your best friend as well. Glasses do the same thing. If you're looking at a pair of glasses because it's convex or uh, concave, right? Your little, there's another word for it, whatever those lenses are called, depending on where, if you need to see farther or closer. They kind of refract light funkier. Uh, that's what causes a little sunbeam. That one's a little bit tougher. I'm not gonna try and explain that one because I don't don't really understand it that well. It's just like that's what you can use. <laughs> that's what you can use if you were a not great kid on the playground and you decided to try and like burn things <laughs> in the playground. But it, you just need to think about the shape of whatever glass thing it is, and if it has color on it. Think of if you're looking through a stained glass window and it paints that shape of the stained glass window on the ground. Same exact deal. It's just gonna cast the shadow color. 
it's going to cast the glass color on the ground as well. We love art nerds at Wing Canvas, and these videos exist because of our awesome community. Is there a topic you want to see us make a video about? Let us know in the comments below. Join a virtual class to learn live from our professional artists. Get creative assignments, individual guidance, and real-time feedback on your artwork. Start today and level up your practice. If you learned something new, like and share this with a fellow art nerd. Here's a couple other videos you can check out next.